My name is Yuval Mayel and I'm from South Sudan. I'm a video game designer and the founder of Genoa Game. So uh, the word Genoa is a South Sudanese word that means people of the South. Sometimes when you want to call it South Sudanese, the best way to call them is Genobin. So like these are like people from the South, uh, South Sudanese. So that's where I got the name uh, Genoa from and we are the first uh, video game company uh, that I started uh, and make a game for South Sudan. My parents had to flee the country, you know, walking from South Sudan to northern Uganda to find a place of refuge during the war. When they were in the refugee camp, it wasn't easy for them. I spent almost 22 years in a refugee camp. Uh, and growing up in a ref refugee camp was not easy because there's no food, there's no water. Uh, there's no good health care, there's no good facilities whereby we can go to school or, you know, uh, live a better life. But we had no choice because that was the only thing left for us. The first time I saw a laptop was 2007 during uh, a refugee's verification and they were using computer to register people and I was like, what is that? Then my mother told me, like, that is a computer and I was like, how did you even know a computer? I saw it and I was like, I have to use it one day actually. I asked my, my mother to buy for me a computer and she looked at me and she laughed. She like, what are you going to do with a the computer? There's no power, there's no internet, there's no even someone who is going to train you. You know, this is a refugee camp and there's no money to buy a computer because it's very expensive. It takes about $300 to buy um, a computer. But because she was a mom, she spent almost three years uh, looking for $300. One day she came to me and she gave me $300. And I look at her and I was like, two things, it was positive and it was also negative. The negative part was I felt like, you know, my mother's worked so hard to get for me $300 and I did not know how to use a computer. But the other part of it, I was like, why not if she worked so hard to get for me this computer, I can do the same thing. I don't care whatever it's going to take me to learn how to use a computer. And after she bought from a computer, I would walk every day three hours uh, to charge my laptop. I went to an internet cafe and someone installed for me a video game called Grand Theft Auto. Growing up in a refugee camp, I never thought like video games are created by people. I thought like they just fell from heaven. How do people make them? How do people create video games? But when I started playing this video game, it inspired me so much to see like it's a product that engage people. It's a product that you know become part of your life. So when I started playing game, I was like, yeah, how about making game for peace and conflict resolution? Game that can be able to let people think about how to resolve conflict, bring people together and change the mindset, change the perception of people because I am actually from a country where 73% of the population are under the age of 30. These are young people. And for us to change their mindset, we need a product, something that can engage with them. And the same thing in the world. True peace is something that is built over time. I have a game called Salam. It's a game that help a player to become a peacemaker instead of killing characters you have to save them when your character move in a refugee camp you have to give them food and when you play that through a video game you're actually relating that to yourself and you're going to play with other people and like building the communities it's helped you to understand like oh war is not the only solution i have a game which is focusing on conflict resolution bringing people on the table to discuss conflict I play soccer. You know, I grew up in an environment whereby there's nothing that you can do apart from playing soccer. So like that's the only thing that I do. I play piano. I love music a lot. So I, 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 I taught myself how to, how to play keyboard. You know, like growing up in a refugee camp, nobody always tell you whatever you have in, and, and amazing. But recently, like, people, like, message me or, like, you have uh, dimples. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when I first, you know, found out about this, I, I was really very excited because having a platform that, you know, tell people stories for people to learn about people, it's very important because it's so hard for people to find us and what we do. 
And when, whenever we have like in you know, a platform like this, I feel like it's really awesome. It's really amazing. My name is Lual Mayen and I live Tilted.